the Detroit Pistons lose to the Golden State Warriors 102-98. to This was a good game. This is Detroit Sports World. My name is Maurice Lewis. Credit all day to the tough Golden State Warriors. They didn't have Steph Curry in this game at all. Um, he's battling with injuries. But Kevin Durant, 36 points, 10 rebounds, 7 assists. The dude had six blocks. I mean, if you don't put that man on first team all defense, you're crazy. You're just totally crazy. But they literally had a good game, game plan coming in. They ran the floor. They shot the ball decently well. Um, the, the Pistons didn't let up, though. The, piece, the Pistons played great defense. Um, but even still, it didn't stop Golden State from scoring the ball and hitting threes. Period. Draymond Green had an off night, but defensively, he was the best def uh, defender on the floor, the best contributor, passer on the floor. Man, uh, Klay Thompson had 19 points. This team is uh, bound to pretty much go back to the uh, to the uh, to the NBA Finals. I mean, let's be real. Let's be real. The Golden State Warriors is probably one of the top contenders in the NBA, and I have to give credit to them. There's nothing I can say bad about that team. As for the Detroit Pistons, as for the Detroit Pistons, you lose your fifth straight, fifth straight game while Golden State wins their sixth straight game. You get outscored. I, I mean, I, I'm just so frustrated about this game because I just don't want to talk about the fourth quarter about Reggie Jackson trying to force the ball when he should be passing it, when you have a hot Avery Bradley, when you have a guy like Tobias Harris who's wide open, when you got shooters around you that are ready to fire if you just pass the ball. I don't want to say that right now. I want to talk about the whole game. Playing from behind. You can't keep doing that. You have to win all quarters, period. You have to win all quarters. You play good in the first quarter. After that, it was a wrap. You're playing from behind. It was a close game. It was an up and down game. But the Detroit Pistons' second string, the second unit, did better than the starting five. Today, just saying, better than the starting five. Ish Smith got guys involved. He got his own. Kennard, I love what I saw out of him. Um, Tolliver, he did good. I didn't like that last shot when he got uh, his shot when he got blocked by Kevin Durant. You're trying to force a three point shot, and Kevin Durant's right there. He has literally the longest arms in the NBA. And you try to shoot a shot in front of him? Really? That was a desperation shot. But Boban brings the Pistons back. If it's not for him and his 7374 height, where nobody can guard him when he's around the rim. He is the reason why we were in this game, getting him the ball down low. Now he's a little bit slower. He was a little bit suspect on D. David West gave him the works for that 15-foot range jump shot. But even still, they couldn't stop Boban tonight. The Pistons couldn't hit their free throws. Reggie Jackson, you have an opportunity to knock down two free throws, and you miss both of them. You miss both. And then you're down. With 30 some seconds to go in the game, Avery Bradley gives you two threes to bring you back. You're down by two points with 20 seconds left to go in the game. And Reggie Jackson wants to fire up with drive to the rack and fire up a wild shot with three or four defenders trying to defend him. At the rack. And he's got guys wide open. And you got a hot Avery Bradley that's kept you in the game. I don't get it. Reggie Jackson, you keep trying to be the, 
the, the, the game saver and it's not working. It's not. You have to figure out something else. You can't keep trying to force these things. You can't. And that's why I'm so frustrated because he keeps on doing this. If you look at the Cavs series two years ago when the Pistons make the playoffs, he tried doing it then and it, it, it did not work. You have to do something else. Tobias has to step up. Tobias only had like 11 points tonight. That's a shame. And then you have to give it to Avery Bradley, who's the hot hand. I don't get it. I don't get it. And then what about giving it to Drummond? He, it, can anybody stop him down low? Clearly, the Pistons won in the paint with the bigs, but they did not go to them. I don't care. I just don't care. They have to do something other than Reggie Jackson trying to force a game when it's shot, a wild shot every time, and he misses for the Pistons to lose the game. I'm sorry I'm frustrated. This is the Pistons' fifth straight loss. We should have won this game. But the Golden State Warriors, they're great. In order to be great, you got to beat the best teams. So you heard it from me. My name is Maurice Lewis. You can follow me on all social medias, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, you name it. Let me know what you think about this video. I'm out.